Hello HLP, this is Ricardo and today we are coming to you with some great updates for Land School Air. The first thing that you should know is that you can access Land School Air via our class link. Go ahead and click on the app. When you click on it, it's going to actually ask you to log in. We are not using Google credentials. You're basically going to use our single sign on by just entering your email. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you enter your email, it should automatically sign you in. Once you are in in, you're going to notice that your all of your classes are already pulled in from class link um, if you if you have teacher a to classes that you do not want to see you can simply come in here and click on this little three buttons and you can hide the classes that you don't want to see or make visible the ones that you want to see um, the other thing that you can do is you can actually drag and drop classes so notice that you maybe want to put them in the right order first period second period and so on and so on also have the ability to use this little square to merge classes so maybe um, you have multiple classes in one period and you want to be able to merge them. You can click on merge more than one class together. That's right there for you. But let's go ahead and go into one of our classes right now. So let's go ahead and go into this particular class right now. So when you start the class, you're going to see that all of your students are going to be in here. But you can see their screens until you actually start your class. Once you start, it's going to pull in all of the students' devices and you'll be able to see them. And if you only see half of your class, we do have a fix. Please reach out to us and we'll be able to help you. But I just wanted to give you a very simple run through of this. So your class settings are over here. I can click on them. Notice that you can change the name of the class. You're able to uh, see the students are coming from class link. Um, you can add instructors if you wanted to, in case uh, you wanted to add another instructor to your class. The configuration is set up by us. So we're not going to be able to do that web limiting i'm going to talk about it on our settings but you can set it up to allow only some websites block just some websites or restrict all websites and the same thing this is brand new app limiting you can allow just maybe an app to be able to be used maybe you're just using chrome and you want that only app to be able to use you can set that up or you can block apps too but when you're in here you have many options so you're not going to add devices uh, on this one because they're all coming from class link over here you can change the classroom view if you wanted to to list or group view you can also change the size of the screens it's set up on medium you can go small or large if you want to see everybody maybe you want to go small so you can see all of your students there but again it's set up to the medium view over here you can sort by students if you wanted to so you can custom drag and drop so if you have a sitting chart maybe you want to move them around just like your sitting chart is set up you can push a website so by going in here i can click and i can push a website to everybody so we're going to this particular website during class and we're going to be able to do that so not just to monitor our students but also to teach it's a great tool you have the ability to blank screens so i can blank all screens think about sharking basically the screens or i can unblank all screens so i can select just one particular student and blank their particular screen or exclude them if i want to let's go ahead and move on to the next one one of my favorites limit student website so we're going to click in there and we're going to configure it. okay first so maybe i just want to block some websites okay and the same it works the same way for allow but maybe i just want to block and this is where the wildcards become very important i'm going to provide this particular link where it talks about wildcards but maybe i want to block anything that is related to youtube so by adding the wildcard and putting this adding web address and going in here and actually Actually having that YouTube with a wildcard in there is going to block the entire website so I'm going to add another so let's go ahead and maybe I want to block anything that is games okay notice that when I use the wildcards I can add that one in there too and now I have sites that basically are going to be blocked so notice that now I'm gonna have YouTube block and also anything with games think about it the other way maybe I'm in canvas and I only want to allow things that are with canvas so the wildcard is definitely going to make that difference I can limit student application applications same thing i can configure and maybe all i want them to use is a particular app on my computer so i can come in here and i'm able to edit that and say i only want to be able to add maybe edge browser so i can control what I, what they're doing so i add that in here and that's the only app they can add so i will provide this document so let's say that i just wanted to maybe only allow them to open chrome i can basically take chrome that exe and add it and that'll be the only thing they'll be able to open or ms edge that 
exe basically exe is the command for a program and only allow that so that allows you to add to the list or subtract from the list that's how that's going to work i'll provide that this is something that is big people have been asking uh, to bring this in from the regular land school app the ability to take screenshots of all students or just one particular student so if i want to come in here right and i wanted to take a screenshot of what the student is doing i can actually do that i can screenshot all students so i can come in here by just clicking on it going in here and just taking a screenshot of that particular student student and it's collecting the screenshot from that student and that download is automatically triggered for you to have that screenshot so if that student is not supposed to be in playing on youtube i have the screenshot that i can actually show that this particular student was doing that um, you also have the ability to share screen so you can share your screen for everybody that's easy to do by just clicking on here and saying i want to share my screen that's also there uh, i think i said the blank the screen so if i went to blank screens i can blank all screens notice that i blanked all 26 screens and they're going to show in a second something like your screen has been blank. It looks like this. So I'm going to let it go back and go to on blank all screens. Finally, over here, you have the ability to chat. You can chat with the entire class or you can chat with just, just some students to be able to communicate. Maybe they're not on task and you come in here and find that particular student and say, hey, get back on task. And only you and that particular student know what's going on. So again, this is just a very quick sample of some of the new updates on Lansco Air. When you are done with your class, don't forget get to exit the class so that the next teacher can pull them into their class. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day. Bye-bye.